Hello everyone, Mr. Market here, and today I've got part two on how to make a Discord chat bot. Uh, in this video, what I'm going to do is go over on how to add a UI to our little interface. Um, so what we're going to do is add a little username connected. We'll add maybe like a connection state, and we'll add like a list box here to tell us what's going on with the bot. Uh, so first of all, let's just rename the main form. So just say Discord. Bot, something like that and then what we're going to do is go ahead and get uh, some labels out so we'll get one label down here for the username which we'll just call username now as a placeholder and we'll get another one out um, which we'll call status and I'm going to leave it a bit to the edge because the text we're going to put here is like a bit larger than status so we'll give it a bit of room and the next thing we'll add is a um, list box so let's go ahead and grab one of those in as well and you can size this as you wish you don't have to copy me completely um, we'll just do something like that for now we'll drag those up a little bit and I guess that's good enough for now as a little starter so this is label one what we're going to do is when we connect uh, right here I show you what we could do so essentially we're going to have label one dot text is going to be equal to discord discord dot current user dot name now if we launch this up we'll get an error and you can see uh, object reference not set to an instance of an object um, and that's what I was getting for a long time while I was thinking well, why is this happening um, basically I think it's just because we need to actually connect first even though the connect code is first um, it might be doing it too fast and it's connecting before there is even a current user so what we can do is we can change this private sub to private async sub and what we can do here is put an await just before here and we're going to wait until the connect function is completed what it's going to do and what we can actually do is just put another await in um, we can type task.delay and we'll just give it like a half a second delay and then we'll try and set the uh, current name so if we launch this up we've got it we've got it here now and you can see it waited a second uh, and now it's telling us down here that Mr. Merkage bot is connected as the connected user and now we're going to go ahead and do the same for the status um, but status is a little bit of a problem if I go and show you now we can use label 2.text and we want it to be equal to discord uh, what happened discord I believe it's something like state or status that's the user status state connection state so we want that one we want to know the connection state but if we launch this up you can see we've just it, we've just got a number two um, but number two does actually mean if we type dot connected is equal to number two so it is connected uh, but it, it just shows the two so what we're going to do instead of uh, having the label here what we're going to do is go down to the bottom of our code and we're going to create a public function uh, we'll call it uh, get state something like that and inside here we're just gonna say what's the problem uh, we'll, no we'll do public sub get state and inside here we'll say if discord dot state is equal to connected then label two dot text is gonna be equal to connected just like that and we can say else if uh, discord dot state is equal to connecting then label two dot text is equal to connecting so that's pretty straightforward I'm not going to go ahead and do disconnecting disconnecting but I will do the final else we'll just say else label two dot text will be equal to unknown because we literally don't know what it is but we should really never get unknown anyway so we're just just there in case um, so that'll be that so instead of having our little label 
uh, text right here. All we can do is call the get state function now, and that should sort it out for us. So if we launch it back up, you should see we've got it now says connected because it's checked uh, the state to decide what to put here. So that's how to get those two working correctly. Next thing we're going to do is add like a little um, like a little welcome message up here. Um, so what you can do is go down. Uh, probably in the form load we can put the first one just under all the successful stuff we can say list box one dot items dot add and what we'll do is we'll add like the times I think it's something like um, date dot you need to check this one out uh, it could be time not time of day I don't want time of day I just want time why is it doing that? Um, date dot. We could do UTC now, or date dot now. That should be fine. Date dot now plus. Uh, we'll say uh, successfully connected to discord and now if we launch that up we should get a little message inside here uh, you can see it's gave us a little um, date and time and it says successfully connected to discord it's just a bit cut off so you might need to like uh, just expand this out a bit and I did notice that we can resize this which I'll just go ahead and stop if we click on the form and we'll go down to form border style we'll change sizable to fixed single and now that error is gone or well, that problem's gone. So that is that. Um, that's really all I wanted to show you how to get a little bit of a UI set up. Uh, what we can do, or what you could do, is use the listbox.add, and you could add like when a command's used. But I've already tried it myself, um, and because it's on like a different thread, because like the message status and stuff is all running on a different thread you can't add to the UI thread from like a different one um, I've, I did actually do it I've sorted it out but I just don't have it fresh in my memory well enough to type it out um, and make myself look like a complete idiot so that's all I'm going to show you for today how to get a little basic UI set up you could actually go ahead and do the, you can just google like a cross thread UI uh, UI fix or something and you'll find the answer I might even leave it in the description for you so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.